Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God. On Monday the 9th of September, we opened our worship this evening listening to Bob Chilcott's Be Thou My Vision. Under the wings of the Spirit, the Spirit of the shining dark, let there be rest. The flame dies down, the autumn moon is born. Let there be rest. In the ending of the day, in the time of letting go. Let there be rest. We give you the harvest of the day. What has been learned and lost, and what has been marked the pathways of our heart. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. Be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy. They will build houses and dwell in them, plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses and others live in them, or plant and others eat. For as the days of a tree, so will be the days of my people. My chosen ones will long enjoy the work of their hands. They will not labour in vain, nor bear children doomed to misfortune. For they will be a people blessed by the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before the reflection, some prayers. We pray for a humbler knowing, for our hope to come from those who experience poverty and persecution. May they live and sing aloud. We pray for a deeper presence, for all who are struggling in life, to find a place to shape a voice that is their own. May they live and sing aloud. We give you the harvest of the day. What must be carried and what must be set down and what must be shared as food for all. Amen. And so now we come to this evening's reflection and the theme, An Inspiring Vision. Isaiah paints this powerful and inspiring picture of how God intends the world to be. It is infused with words of uplift and beauty Delight, joy, blessed. Yet it is rooted in the experience of poverty shared by millions across the world. Who can miss the irony of the appalling living conditions of the families of men building luxury hotels? Or the millions who grow food for others to eat and scarcely have enough for themselves? Isaiah's vision is not of Shangri-La, an earthly paradise, idleness and pleasure. Rather, it speaks of purpose, fulfilment and satisfaction. You will have had a glimpse of this when you have cooked a lovely meal, knitted a beautiful pullover, grown your own tomatoes, decorated a room or written a poem held your children as newborn babies, knowing that they were not doomed to misfortune. Count your blessings, wrote Johnson Oatman in his 1897 hymn. It should have a sequel. Share your blessings. Then there will be a harvest of righteousness. This vision from Isaiah was not given so that we could sit back, relax and wait for God to deliver on his promise. It is like the picture on the jigsaw puzzle box, a guide to how things will look if all the pieces are set in their rightful place. If we can live in such a way that we put just one piece in the right place, in God's jigsaw picture of joy and perfection. What a privilege and what an opportunity. 
Lord, keep inspiring us with your vision of how the world should be. Amen. And now we join together in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Keep us, Holy Spirit, of air, under the shadow of your wings. Keep us, Holy Spirit of earth, in the darkening of your trees. Keep us, Holy Spirit of water, in the stillness of your depths. Keep us, Holy Spirit of fire, in the embers of your heart. Amen. Amen. Let us face the dark without fear. It is the night of creation, the night of birth. Let the divine darkness bless us and the Christ light guide us, now and always. Amen. Amen.